Okay, attempt number six today at making a video. I uh, had a lot of distractions. Um, I think I've been getting a lot of questions about, um, and I have my whole life, you know, how do you do some of the things you do? Once again, I'm, I'm not a great guitar player. I'll be the first to tell you that. There are a million guys better than me. But uh, I've been blessed and fortunate enough to um, do some of these things, you know, I don't know how I do it. It's all God, I guess. It's all just, it's by ear and picked up a lot of tricks along the way. So I guess uh, I'll spend the next few minutes trying to show you guys some tricks. Some of you guys that are trying to learn, and I don't mind giving away, you know, the things that I do. Um, start with it. First of all, as far as distortion goes, you know, I used to, I used to when I first started out, I used to always think, Oh yeah, gotta have that distortion, man. Gotta have that distortion. Gotta be heavy, uh, and and it sounds good, you know. But I think it sounds better when you dial it back to almost nothing or nothing at all, because even those old guys, like uh, you know, in the first hard rock guys, you know, Zeppelin and uh, Van Halen, they hardly use any distortion at all. Very little. They might have had one pedal. Uh, they just would turn their amps up all the way, and a lot of it was in their fingers and the way they attack the strings. So, um, I'm going to use mostly a clean, a clean tone. I may switch to some, because some, there's some of the tricks that don't sound good with a little distortion. Uh, first of all, you know, I don't play regular chords. This is a regular chord, for instance, you know. I usually don't do that. Um, I, I can, but I, don't, I never know what key I'm in. Uh, they, they tell me at church, you know, you we're in this key and I'm like, okay, <laughs> I don't know, I have no idea, I'll play by ear, but uh, what I want to do is, this is, this is, this is the way I play a lot of my chords, okay, and all it is is like, uh, like stuff like double stops, like Chuck Berry used to do a lot of these, uh, you would just hold down two strings, like uh, say, say you pick a fret like the uh, fifth fret, and you hit the third and fourth string down at the same time, just those two strings, and they set up. Say you, you and you go back up to the say you use that fifth fret go up to the seventh fret and just kind of Chuck Berry did that kind of stuff you know back in the fifties like rock and roll chords you know sometimes you can play like a what I call a power chord most people some people have different interpretations of that. Is where you'll hit like uh, like say I'm on the I'm on the the bottom string here, and I'm on the uh, third fret, right? So I go up to the one string higher with my pinky, and hit two frets up. First of all, I need to tune up really quickly because I'm severely out of tune. So just give me just one second, because that sounded awful. Kids must have came in here and messed with it while I was outside from here. Let's see here. That's a little better. Okay. I'll record, see? You get a lot of mileage out of that. Basically, if you beat that up and add a little distortion, that's like heavy metal city. Alright. Another thing I do too is, um, and this is kind of hard to describe. Like you'll bar, I'll, I'll take one of my fingers, like say my index finger, and I'll bar a certain fret. Like say the seventh fret. Just press down as hard as I can. Well, I'll play off of that, like say two or three notes, usually the top three strings, you know, and I'll hit, like say I'll pull on to one of the strings. I'll, I'll hit it just with a bar and pull on. Pull on with my pinky, two frets up from that. get a lot of mileage out of, out of crap like that, you know. Do it fast and it's like funky, you know. Mm -hmm. 
You can also use your fingers. Put your pick down, use your fingers, kind of pop it, and do that same kind of stuff, and you can sound like some of uh, You know, I mean, there's all kinds of stuff you can do. Uh, as far as, like, you know, I guess everybody knows what a hammer on and pull off is. You know, no. Tell you one thing you do need to learn if you really want to sound like you're playing, and a lot of guitarists will do this today. These corporate produced bands that play like crap. Um, you got to add some vibrato with just some touch. You know, don't just static. You want to hit, you don't want to do that. You want to hit your. Bend down the note. Shake it a little bit. Put your stamp on it, you know what I'm saying? A lot of guys don't even know anything about that. Uh, I'm running out of time here. I want to make a video that I can actually fit. I made like 20 minute videos. You can't get that on YouTube. Alright, one more thing that I'm going to do, try to do, is a pinch harmonic. Now most people are squealing on the guitar. Most people are like, how the heck do they do that? Well, that's one of the coolest things ever. Oh, pinch harmonics. Uh, Zach Wilde, Ozzy Osbourne, does a lot of that kind of stuff. First guy to record it, to record that probably did pinch harmonics was Billy Gibbons' ZZ Top. And, uh, you know, he would pinch whole phrases of songs, like in Solo LaGrange, for instance. Um, so what you want to do is, like say you hit a note, two notes. What you want to do is kind of mute, mute the second one. This finger right here, just kind of mute it and and kind of pick at the top while you're holding it down. Instead of just hitting it, press it down as hard as you can. Where it's kind of muted and just kind of pick at the top. And then put the vibrato on that thin, see? Like, say, if I had a little distortion to that. And you can bend it like that, and that's your squeal, that's your pinch harmonic. You can pinch harmonic every note if you want to. Alright, that's all for now. We'll make another one later.